Hey guys, what's up? This is Vignesh from Phone Arena. This is week 42 of 2017 and you're watching Phone Arena Weekly. Pete Lau, the founder and CEO of OnePlus, has confirmed that the OnePlus 3T along with OnePlus 3 would get an Android Oreo update very soon. Android Oreo update brings a lot of new features including background limits, snoozing notification and a wide gamut color for apps. HMD Global has announced its Nokia 7 smartphone under a mid-range segment at an event in China. In terms of specifications, the Nokia 7 comes with a 5.2-inch 1080p 2.5D curved glass display powered by Snapdragon 630 mobile platform and runs on Android 7.1.1 Nougat which is upgradable to Android 8.0 Oreo. It also has a 16MP rear camera and a 5MP front-facing camera as well. The Nokia 7 comes in gloss black and matte white color and starts at 2499 yuan, which is approximately 24,000. As per the latest rumors and speculations, HTC might unveil U11 Plus which is the successor of the current U11 smartphone and the U11 Lite with a pure Android experience which is expected to be the part of Google's Android One program. For more information regarding the specifications, you can check out the link in the description below. This week, Xiaomi has announced Redmi 5A with 4G support in China without much changes. In terms of specifications, this smartphone comes with a 5-inch HD display powered by Snapdragon 425 processor and runs on MIUI 9 based on Android 7.1 Nougat. The Xiaomi Redmi 5A comes in platinum silver, champagne gold and rose gold and starts at 599 watts which is approximately 5880. Huawei has unveiled its flagship Mate 10 smartphone at an event in Germany with a dual camera setup as usual. This smartphone packs a 5.9-inch Quad HD display powered by octa-core high silicon Kirin 970 processor and a dedicated neural network processing unit and runs on Android 8.0 Oreo with EMUI 8.0 on top. It has a 3D glass design, has a fingerprint sensor on the front and supports for dual 4G VOLT support and packs a 4000mAh battery with a supercharged technology. Along with Mate 10, Huawei has also launched its Mate 10 Pro smartphone at an event in Germany with 18 is 9 aspect ratio display. In terms of specifications, this smartphone comes with a 6-inch FHD Plus full-view OLED 18 is 9 display powered by octa-core iSilicon Kirin 970 processor and runs on Android 8.0 Oreo with Emotion UI 8.0 on top. On the other hand, Huawei has also introduced a premium Porsche design Mate 10. It also has a similar specs as of Mate 10 Pro. It comes with a custom Porsche design interface with accessories including USB-C to 3.5mm headphone jack adapter and a custom made leather case designed exclusively from premium package. For more information regarding the specifications, check out the link in the description below. This week, Micromax has launched its first 4G VOLT feature phone in ties with the state-owned BSNL Telecom in order to counter Reliance Geo. It also comes with the unlimited calling and unlimited data offer from BSNL at Rs 97 per month, but the phone can be used on any network unlike the Geo phone. It is powered by Qualcomm 205 mobile platform, comes with the dual SIM card and has a support for 22 different languages and comes with the entertainment app for live TV, music, movies and videos. The Micromax Bharat 1 comes in black color at a price tag of Rs 2200 and will be available across India starting from October 20. Microsoft has announced Surface Book 2 this week in two variants. Powered by Intel 8 Gen Core processor, it comes in 15-inch display and another with a 13.5-inch display and is Windows Mixed Reality ready. It promises up to 17 hours of battery life on a single charge and a 5 hours of tablet video consumption. There is a 5 megapixel front facing camera and a 8 megapixel rear camera and the keyboard is backlit. Motorola has introduced a new Moto Mod for the Moto Z series of smartphones. Dubbed as Motorola Smart Speakers, this Moto Mod comes with the Amazon Alexa voice assistant support. It quite resembles the current Moto Sound Boost 2 speaker mod but with the Alexa assistant support built in. It connects to the rear of your phone giving you on-the-go access to the personal assistant. The Moto Smart Speakers with Alexa Voice Assistant cost you around $149.99 which is approximately $9,700. Reliance Geo has launched Geo Dandanathan offer at Rs 399 back in July. Now the 84 days Dandanathan offer is coming to an end for those who has activated it back in August. However, Reliance Geo has launched new plans for the Prime members that comes into effect on October 19th. The 84-day validity plan with 1 GB data per day now costs you around 459 and the current 399 comes with 70 days validity. For more information regarding the plan, you can check out the link in the description below.